All right, so card number two, ladies, is super sparkly and beautiful and fun. Woo! Okay, using more because I cannot stop playing with that ornate garden designer series paper. And I'm going to tell you guys, when I first got it, I was like, yeah, okay, that paper's all right, but I have had so much fun playing with it. I think the gold kind of threw me on the backside of these. Thank you, guys. I'm glad you enjoyed that last card. Um, it, I wasn't quite sure what to th what what I thought of it, but now I am loving it, and I love... The other thing I maybe forgot to mention was I used... So those dies are in the forever flourishing dies this was part of our product of the week maybe a week or two ago or maybe it was the paper i can't remember but we use these a ton right but i love so this these kind of spriggy leafy details i used a ton with this tasteful touches bundle so this is kind of a great gosh you could even get this in your starter kit right get that bundle or maybe get this stamp and bundle i don't know which one whichever one's more expensive get the most expensive one you can in your starter kit right um, but yeah i love this whole set of uh, products together too um yes they do seem kind of earthy that's true you're right yeah maybe that's it not that i yeah right? So yes, Denise is saying they look, they seem kind of earthy and she's into gardening. Yeah, I can totally see that. The flowers and the earthy tones. I gotcha. I can see where you're coming from there, Miss Denise. Okay, so let me show you what we did, how we made. And actually, I started out designing this thinking it was going to be a tall card. And then I was like, no, you know what? This label works better kind of going wide. So we, ooh, we are like crazy. We did something crazy and we opened our card like this <laughs> instead. You know, it's the little things in life sometimes, ladies, right? Okay. So for this one, we also started, and you can see this thick whisper white cardstock is great and super versatile. So again, we have our eight and a half by 11 piece of thick whisper white cardstock. This time along the eight and a half inside, we cut it at four and a quarter inches and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half to make not a tall card, right, but a wide card. So it's going to open like that. So it's kind of fun and tricky, right? Okay, then we also have three pieces of the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper, and they all measure one and one quarter by five and one quarter, okay? So I have three of those pieces, one and one quarter by five and a quarter three of those. Then I have just some scraps of gold foil and then whisper white for our labels. Yes, very, very versatile. I agree, Miss Sharon. Okay, so let's see. We'll get what we need out. Oh, and we used a new, um, a new in color for our stamping too. I thought it worked really well. Sometimes our browns, you know, um, this one is actually the new cinnamon cider I used right on there because I, I don't have a gold ink and sometimes we offer gold inks usually like at holiday time um, but I thought this one worked pretty well right that cinnamon cider works pretty well with the gold right just again a little earthy tone there that is exactly it Miss Denise okay so let's see again we are going to this is for just our label so we're going to stamp on here with our let's see we're going to do again so we're going to use mint macaron because this is mint macaron on that designer series paper so same idea again where we're going to stamp this image kind of in the background and then the good things in life are better with you we're going to stamp that over top so again i want to stamp off so i'm going to have my little scrap paper not with this one where is it <laughs> right here oh my gosh that's so funny. So cinnamon cider is your favorite of the new ink colors. Now, Philomena, I am not quite as drawn to it. It's, I'm not sure why. You, so you see I stamped off right there. Um, that's fun. I'm glad to hear that it is your favorite new ink color. It's growing on me, maybe because I haven't really used it that much. Um, but I do love the way this color looks when you put it on this card too. So, you know, sometimes it's funny how different things hit people differently. Okay, so then we are gonna stamp our sentiment right here. And, and you can see how dark that was even with me stamping it off at first. So I'm really glad I did that because I think that would be way too dark. Even that, I feel like I maybe could have pressed a little bit harder. That could be a little bit lighter. Um, okay, so. Now we can do our 
die cutting. I think we're good here. All right, scoot that baby out of the way. Okay, so let's do our die cutting for these guys. And then we will put this one together too. So another sweet, simple, cute, fun card for us today. Okay, so we've got that one. Let's see, I'm gonna hope that we can get all of these on here at once. All right, this one goes on here. I'm realizing I forgot that die. Sorry, I think I was a little um, kind of wigged out. I haven't done a class in so long at the studio that I was trying to make sure I had everything all set and ready to go for that and down there. Uh, so let me go grab those dies really quick. Be right back one more time. All right, thank goodness everything is right where I needed it to be. Okay, so so let me tell you what happened. This is why I didn't even have the dies out because I just happened to have one of those labels, sorry, get that into view, on my crafting table. And I was like, oh, that's gonna be perfect layered behind there. I was just kind of playing with things. I must have cut that for something else and didn't use it. So I never even had these dies out. So now I'm like, okay, which size? I feel like it might be that one. Yep, I think it's that one right there. Nope, it's not, it's the next one. That one looks too small. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there we go. <laughs> yes, having a new way to open. Yes, you're right. Keeps you on your toes. That's right, Miss Denise. Okay, so there we go. So you guys know all my secrets now. Okay. All right, I think we are good. So we're going to crank the handle through here. <laughs> That's too funny, Denise. Okay. I think we got it here. I was trying to make sure this one cut through all the way. Okay, so we've got that one there. Okay, so this is good because actually we're making this card down at the studio. So that will, <laughs> I will have it, the dies too. And you see how this just breaks away? I love this. It makes it really easy. You might have to pop a couple little bits you can see like that little one. So just kind of be careful. But I love how everything just kind of falls away from there, right? So we got that one. And then we've got our label right there too. And I've got a mess, but we will worry about that later. Okay. There we go. All right, I think we have everything. Somehow I've moved stuff over, haven't I? All right, now we can put our card together. The one thing I will tell you is that I kind of pulled off, and I just kind of ripped them off, but now I'm like, oh, maybe I should have been a little bit more delicate with kind of cutting. So I'm gonna take this one, and then I can kind of rip that off there, and then I'm gonna snip around that one also, because those two are gonna go on the bottom, and then that piece goes right there. So you only need one of those um, for that whole, Right, for both sides of it, right? Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, okay, so here we go. We'll put some dimensionals on the back of this thing. Okay, and then we're gonna pop, oops, that's upside down. Put that one right on there. Then I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive and I'm gonna kind of tuck this piece in behind there, okay, and then a little bit more, and I'm using my little silicone mat here to add adhesive so it doesn't stick to my work surface, All right? So then we're gonna, <coughs> excuse me, got a little cough. Um, put that one, and you just have to be a little strategic maybe with where you <laughs> put your dimensionals, and then maybe one right there. We're just gonna press down, get those things underneath there, right? Okay, now, hello, Miss Becky and Miss Diana. So glad you guys can join us today. Hopefully you guys are having a good Friday, right? Okay, so I'm just adding adhesive along these babies. Okay, so that is all ready to go. Okay, so I am gonna flip this. Are we in view? I feel like I'm all over the place. Okay, so we're gonna put that one right there. So I did the two outside and then I kind of 
lined up the other one about, you know, centered it midway. Oops, and I bent that just a tiny bit. Ooh, and I think I did do that. I wasn't sure, I didn't wanna show you guys, but I did. I got those lined up. I thought maybe I might've gotten them mixed up. <laughs> but this was one piece that then I just cut into strips. Oops. And I kept them in order, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So I love that. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be successful or not in that, but okay, very good. And then we can put this one. Isn't that so pretty? Right on there. And then one more step. We have to add a little sparkle with our gilded gems. And I just kind of popped a couple of those right on there. And there is our second project. Oh, God, yes, babysitting the grandbaby. Super duper cute little buddy, too. So that's fun. I'm glad he's napping. And now you can have a little crafting time. So I hope you guys enjoyed these projects, right? So quick reminder, recap, let me slide things out of the way a little bit here. If you put your online order in of at least, let me scoot that up there, right? $30 using this host code, you will get both of these projects that I just demonstrated today. You can get either the fully completed cards or the make and takes if you wanna put them together yourself, right? Your name is going to go into the drawing to win the Queen Anne's Lace stamp set, right, with just a $30 order. Bump your order up to $50, and you can pick from the Demo Design Dream Team June PDF Tutorial or the Elegant Faceted Gems. So thank you guys, and Philomena, I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you were inspired today. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I hope, you have, I hope you're having a great June as well, right? Um, and yes, Miss Susie, this is, I'm trying to make sure I'm looking, yep, this is the one I have all the parts and pieces for. We're making this card at class today as well. Yes, so, okay, thank you guys so much for joining me. We will see you next Friday. Bye, everybody.